after Disney View is launched, we can finally make that happen. For us, that's really what it's all about, creating great experiences for the fans. Man, if, if I could see the fetal heart tracing on a mobile device, there's not a, a dog in the world that wouldn't want to be able to do that. When I was a practicing physician, I had a direct impact on patients' lives. Now, through our application, our sphere of influence has dramatically grown. When the SDK was released, we said, yes, it's possible now to create the games we've been dreaming about. It's always been my dream to travel around and make my own games. And we took a stab at it, and it was pretty hard to get your game published. But when the iPhone SDK was announced, that was when I knew the opportunity was right, and it was really going to be something special. We finally made a game that we were really happy with, and we submitted it. About one in the morning, we looked and we saw Dizzy V available. We just exploded. We were so excited. Finally got, our, got a game published. A female physician is sitting uh, at her departmental meeting. She has Air Shabobi running right beside her. And she starts to notice some changes that worry her, so she quietly grabs her keys and leaves. By the time the nurses first recognize this and say, uh-oh, you know, we may have a problem, and they call her, she says, hey, I'm in the hospital, and I'll be right there. I was in San Francisco last year during the World Series, the Phillies versus the Rays, and I was waiting for a flight to come home at uh, the airport. There are a bunch of Philly fans watching the game on TV, and in the middle of the game, the iPhone commercial that we did came on, because they all pull out their iPhones, and download the app right there <laughs> on site because they can go take the app with them when they get on the plane and not miss anything of the World Series they're about to take off and go home. I created Game Loft to be able to come back to the roots of the gaming experience for users. Progressively it has become a very specialist experience and I felt that it was not fair. So I said we'll create a new company to make sure that everyone would be able to have fun and play all over the world. And it's working because we sell millions of games. On the iPhone, everything behaves as you expect it. And the tools are they're simple, but they mask this like incredible amount of power underneath. It's really the first time that we've been able to take a platform and now go to our designers and say, there's no limitations. What Apple's done is made it so we can just focus on what we do best and they've taken care of all the details. In fact, sometimes I have to stop and say, wow, this, this is a mobile device I'm developing for because it feels like a desktop application API. I think with the SDK 3.0, we will be able to create without limits. And in terms of experience, end users will clearly move a step forward and we never want to come back. It's hard to express how cool the new streaming technology really is. I mean, being able to watch a live game on your phone for the first time, I'm just I think everyone here is really excited about that. The push notification API is going to be great. The physician could take the application and they could customize exactly for individual patients what alerts they wanted to see. So that way they know if they're getting an alert, this is something I really want to take a look at. I'm hoping there'll be like a generation of kids who grew up like, oh yeah, I got box scores and watched games on my phone. It was just like part of the experience of baseball. Developing for the iPhone SDK actually makes it fun again for a developer. This is going to be the dominant platform, the dominant device, and it will dominate the healthcare. I think that I'll probably never go back to making games in the traditional way again. Having the power to submit it and have lots of people download it and enjoy it has been really great. You build the app, you upload it, specify the countries you want it, the prices you want, and then it's out there for the entire world to see. My favorite app is Bike Gears. My favorite app is Surfboard. My favorite app is Librance. Facebook. App Engine. My favorite app is... Other Sutra. Le Monde. Zen Ball. Toys and Theater. Piana. Airstrip OB. Maya. Camera Bay. Clip on the Vista. Mint. Pulse 877. Application Preferé. Radio Sailor. Pac-Man. And Living Spoon. MLB. Visual. Multi-Quiz. Asphalt Ports. Shazam. Taxi. <laughs> It really has been an amazing year. 
In Asphalt 5, you race elite sports cars and motorcycles in 12 exotic locations around the world. The game's gonna ship with 27 licensed cars, four motorcycles, and some of the models included are gonna be Ferrari, Bugatti, BMW, Audi, and a whole bunch more. <coughs> the car you see on the screen today is the Audi R8, mean machine. And we're gonna take the R8 for a little spin through the mountains in Aspen, Colorado. Now, I don't know about you, but when I'm driving, I like to have my iPod music with me. So as soon as we get into the game, I'm gonna open up the car stereo, and here we see one of the great new features of iPhone SDK 3.0. With media player access, now you can access your car stereo to control your music from your iPod. Just select from playlist, artist, or song, same as you do on your iPod, select what you want to hear, and you're good to go. Alright, pretty cool, right? Pretty sweet. You can, uh, so once you got the, the race started and the music going, what else is going on? Well, let's talk about graphics. Since Asphalt 4, we've learned a lot of new tricks developing for the iPhone and the iPod Touch. And we're pushing the hardware further than ever before. Asphalt 5 features advanced lighting effects, high resolution environments, super fast frame rates, and tight responsive controls. Now, all these things combine to deliver a console quality gaming experience unlike anything we've ever been able to produce before. <laughs> we even worked some shortcuts into the game. <laughs> now, on top of all this, what's really going to make Asphalt 5 shine are the additional 3.0 features we worked in the, into the game. We're going to have peer-to-peer -peer multiplayer over Bluetooth, worldwide online multiplayer over Wi-Fi, which will include in-game voice chat, and we'll even be selling content packs where you can download one new racetrack and three new cars for just 99 cents using an app purchase. <laughs>